It was found in 1940 near Fairbanks, Alaska. Gold miners with hydraulic hoses were out in the quest for gold, spraying in the falling summer muck of the area's permafrost. It would be here that a number of preserved animal remains and fossils would be unearthed. Many of these finds are now famous, but one of the most well-preserved and rarest finds has somehow gone unnoticed. This would be a remarkably well-preserved giant Ice Age muskox. It was a young female muskox of extinct species Bulophilium bombifrons, which was a very large species that lived as far south as Texas and Virginia during the last Ice Age. Frozen for 18,000 years. After the heaving of soil by winter frost in the Alaskan winter, the summer falls it. It may slowly flow downward from hills, as seen in this photo, covering ice age points and animal carcasses with protective silt and ultimately sliding them into stream valleys, such as Fairbanks Creek, where this particular mummy was eventually discovered, to ultimately await the hoses of the gold miners. This specimen was dated to around 18 to 17,000 years old, confirmed to 18,000 by the 1984 study. Muskox remains from the Pleistocene are rare, and frozen mummies of them are exceedingly rare, especially of the extinct muskoxen, unless this find was very valuable. Skin, hair, flesh, and bone. Hair was best preserved in the lower limbs, varying in color from blackish brown to orange and yellow brown, generally darker than most of the modern relatives around today. Much of it ranged from 12 to 28 millimeters long, but the dark guard hairs reached about 55 millimeters. The skull length was over 16 inches long, but the horn cores and some soft tissues are missing, and the right side of the trunk or body face extensive damage. The limbs are longer and relatively more slender, and the tail is longer than those same parts on Tundra muskoxen. According to Guthrie and National Geographic, the horns were probably taken by the miner who found this now extinct animal, Bulafir nivicollins. Pollen assemblage recovered from the gastrointestinal tract contained in large proportions of Artemisia and Graminae pollen, suggesting that this animal died during mid to late summer in herbaceous tundra. Based on measurements from the sketch of the mummy featured in the book Visions of Lost Worlds, the total length of the body would be 46.125 inches long, about the size of a subadult. Its species, taxonomy and ecology. Originally described as Bulophium nivicollins, it is now recognized as belonging to Bulophium bombifrons, or the woodland muskox. This animal, taller and thinner than the tundra muskox, measured approximately 56 to 70 inches at the shoulder and from 500 to 900 pounds in weight, up to 1934. Often associated with woodland to the south, they also resided in an area dominated by the mammoth steppe, an expansive biome spanning from Spain to Canada. However, they were restricted to North America and replaced in Europe by the very similar prey overbose, as well as modern tundra muskoxen in the relative overbose palantus. One of this animal's defining traits were its horns. They are known as hominid muskoxen due to the few structure of their impressive horn cores, which are unfortunately missing in the Fairbanks mummy. Fossils have been found as far north as Alaska, but also in California, Utah, Texas, Missouri, Michigan, Oklahoma, Virginia, North Carolina, and New Jersey. In the northern part of the range, they lived alongside familiar tundra muskoxen, who preferred the cold tundras and steppes, while this animal preferred open woodland similar to Mastodon and Stagmoose, another animal found mummified intact at a similar creek, El Dorado Creek. It and other muskoxen seem to have lived alongside the usual Ice Age fauna such as wild horses of various species, including Equus lambay, Equus ferris, and Equus alaskae, which I featured in a prior video. Along with the American Mastodon, the Grey Wolf, which was probably the main predator in all species, along with much larger predators such as either the Cave Lion or the American Lion, the dangerous scimitar toothed cats, both grizzly and giant short-faced bears, camels, elk, stag moose, aforementioned, and bully mammoths, giant step bison, which are also known from, from frozen mummies, more so than muskoxen in the same area, humans, and the rest of the animals that made up these environments during the Pleistocene Epoch. Epilogue. 
Not much else is known about the muskox mummy itself. A few studies were ever done on this remarkable specimen, apparently the only mummy of its kind. Quite a shame. As a result, it is very obscure compared to other finds from the same area, such as the famous blue bait bison currently on display. But it also makes one wonder, what did the people back then see of these creatures in life? What was it like seeing these giant muskox and bison in the megafauna in the flesh? And what other frozen treasures, frozen mummies, remain deep? right within the earth.